Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to look at MAC's upcoming Velux Pearl Fusion Shadow Collection for Summer 2013. You may notice that this is a brand new product. It's a new formula that MAC has come out with that is supposed to be, when applied wet, give you sort of a sheer wash of shimmery color or matte color. And then when applied wet, it's supposed to be very intense and metallic. This collection releases six palettes, each of which have five colors in them and each palette comes with a mix of matte and shimmery finishes. The collection will release in stores on June 20th, but you can get the items right now online at maccosmetics.com. As always, please check allurebeauty.com if you want to see in-depth reviews of each of the palettes individually, and if you want to see photographs of swatches of these colors. The description box also has sneak peeks of upcoming MAC collections and other relevant links to videos and reviews that I've done. All right, let's get on to looking at each of these palettes. So as you can see, slightly different form factor from MAC. Instead of having four individual circular eyeshadow pans, you have these strips here. And the middle strip is larger than the two strips next to it, which are also larger than the two outer strips. So you get less product for each color as you move outward from the middle strip. This palette is called Pastel Luxe. This palette is Pink Luxe. Here is Smoke Lux, Blue Lux, Green Lux, and Brown Lux. As always, I'm applying these with a flat eyeshadow brush over primer. The top color is a bright champagne with pearl. Right now I'm swatching them dry. Here is a peachy pink with pearl. The metallic flecks on these colors are on the larger side. The middle shade is a light pink. This is a bright lavender. And the last color is a dusty gray, I would say with a hint of a khaki green undertone. And unlike the first four colors, this has a different finish. It is a metallic finish, but it doesn't have the same metallic flakes that these four colors have. Now I'm going to show you the colors applied with a damp brush. You'll see for a lot of the shades that had a gritty or chunky finish that that becomes much smoother under a damp brush. The shade is smoother, but the base is still pretty translucent, and the color is still quite sheer and light. This middle pink shade stays fairly gritty still. It's smoother when applied wet, but it could be even smoother in terms of finish. Same with this lilac color, and you can ameliorate that by sort of patting with pressure in shorter strokes. I'm applying a little more product. And here's the bottom shade, which has more liquid metal finish to it. Sort of boldens the color too. The Blue Lux palette starts with a metallic silver with pearl. Next is a light blue. The middle shade is a blue with pearl. It has kind of a duochrome effect and a slight purple tint to it. So I would call it a blue purple with blue shimmers. Another purple blue with pearl. This one doesn't have the metallic flakes in it, and although it's shimmering the pan, it actually has a very low shimmer finish to it on the skin. And the bottom shade is a black with blue pearl. Again, doesn't have the same metallic flakes in it, and the blue pearls aren't really noticeable on the skin. Applied with a damp brush, get a smoother metallic finish and a deeper silver color. Sometimes a smoother finish also means it's a little more streaky, so 
I have to work in shorter strokes and layer as I'm doing here, applying a second layer to get a nicer finish. The shade, even though it doesn't have the same metallic flakes, works pretty well under a damp brush without being too patchy or streaky. Same with this shade. The Green Lux palette starts with a light peach color. This has a frosty metallic finish but without those flakes in it. It's very smooth and soft. Next is a bright champagne with pearl. It has a yellow undertone. The middle shade is a Max has dark olive, but I would just consider it a more tan olive color. It's not even really a green tone or barely green tone, and it doesn't have a flaky finish. Next is a blackened green with gold pearl. And the bottom shade is a deep forest green with pearl. Again, this has a duochrome finish. It's actually brown at the base. It has sort of a green sheen to it that will probably be more noticeable once it's applied wet. Applied with a damp brush. This shade stayed fairly gritty in texture, but it's definitely more smooth once applied with a damp brush than when applied dry. Here's that duochrome shade, and it does make that effect a little more prominent, but it's by no means in your face. Um, and this is a shade that's very similar to Club Eyeshadow by MAC. Next is the Smoke Luxe palette, which starts out with a frosty pink or a white pink has sort of a velvet finish to it, not even quite shimmery. Next is a deep bronze. And even though this has a flaky finish sort of in the pan like the others, the surface is really smooth actually when you put it on the skin. And I think Mac's description on the site is a little um, mixed up here. So I think this is actually supposed to be the platinum color and this next shade is supposed to be the deep bronze color. And this does not have that flaky metallic formula to it. But it does have a metallic finish. And then we have a deep gray color. Again with a frosty or metallic finish but not with those flakes in it. And the bottom shade is a carbon black. Which has a matte finish to it. Here's that first shade applied with a damp brush. Not a great way to apply this particular shade because it's not a shimmery shade. So I'd probably keep that application to a dry application. So this is a, an example of a good shade where it does intensify and bolden the finish, but you have to work in smaller strokes. Otherwise the finish can become streaky and uneven. So you just kind of have to play around with the different finishes and the different colors. Whereas a shade like this, you don't have to work in small strokes for it to have an even finish. But then a counter example is a shade like this that also has no shimmer in it, but works okay under 
a damp brush. So again, you just kind of have to play around with it. The brown Lux palette starts with an eggshell color, which has a subtly frosty finish. It moves on to a light yellow chocolate color. The middle shade is a light orange gold. It has that flaky metallic formula to it. But again, it spreads out and smooths out pretty nicely on the skin. Next is a deep bronze shade. Again, has that sort of chunky metallic finish. And the bottom shade is a blackened plum. which looks pretty much brown on the skin. Here are the same shades applied with a damp brush. I think for the shades that have less glitter in them and have more of a velvety finish, I'd recommend against applying them wet. It just sort of breaks up the color as you can see with this example. Whereas with the metallic shade, it can really make them more vibrant with a smoother finish and a bolder color. That color you should probably apply in small strokes to make it not patchy. And here's the last shade applied with a damp brush. Very opaque, but can get a little streaky. The pink Lux palette starts with a frosty pink. Next is a bright frosty pink, which is pretty similar. This is more yellow and true pink based or baby pink and this shade is a little more lavender toned. The middle shade is a deep violet color. With a metallic finish but not with those flakes in it. Next is a blackened purple with lighter purple pearls in it. And the bottom shade is a blackened plum. Here are the same shades applied with a damp brush. So you get a smoother, more liquidy metal metallic finish to the skin. And definitely the chunks of glitter sort of die down. Getting a stronger base color. And this color is a bolder, more opaque layer of color to it. Alright, so there you have the six Belux Pearl Fusion eyeshadow palettes. These are limited edition and they cost $40 each. When the shades are applied dry, they are definitely more sheer and a lot of times with the grittier finishes, they have more of a translucent base to them. But MAC says that already, so you should expect that since MAC outright says that when you apply them dry, they are going to be more sheer in color and finish. And when you apply them under a damp brush, the finishes are more smooth. The intensity of the metallic sheen is oftentimes heightened and they also are more bold in color in general. There are exceptions with the less shimmery colors. Sometimes they are actually worse when applied wet because it sort of breaks down the formula and they become streaky or patchy or even less pigmented. So just keep that in mind. I would say in terms of my least favorite palette would be Pastel Lux, just because the finishes were extremely gritty and the base of the colors 
was very translucent. Even when you applied them under a wet brush, it did improve the shades, but just didn't really appeal to me the finishes that those colors had. Um, also wasn't a huge fan of Pink Luxe, although I think the formula is much better compared to Pastel Luxe. And I thought the other shades, um, or other palettes I should say, were pretty nice actually. Brown, green, smoke, and blue. I particularly liked brown and green, um, and I guess blue too. I think they had some really standout shades. So if you have any questions after watching this video or reading the reviews for each individual palette you're interested in, please leave the question or comment in the section below or at allurebeauty.com. I hope you enjoyed looking at these new palettes with me. I'm really excited to cover Sephora's Ariel collection. The video for that will be going up soon as well as reviews at allurebeauty.com. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one.